Hello everyone, just like to show you what I did last week. Now these two watches you can see here on the left side a Candino and on the right side the Psycho. Now the Candino is a quartz and the Psycho is an automatic. Both watches have been in my possession for the last, at least for the last 15 to 20 years. This watch is from 1999, this one is from 1974. Both watches uh, this one I bought myself in 1999 when I used to work in a hotel in Amsterdam. Bought it in the shop they had. They had a watch shop there. I paid around 125 euros, I think. Um, and I wore it for about six or seven years straight. Every day. It was my favorite watch. Now, the Psycho you can see on the right is actually my father's Psycho and my uncle's. My uncle bought it in 1974 and uh, gave it to my father. My father swapped it with me for a white dialed Psycho 5. And uh, I found this back, the Psycho, I found it back in a drawer last week. Uh, it had the original bracelet on it, which is a kind of flimsy bracelet. As you can see, it broke already, and the glass also was broken. If you, oop, I'll put the glass like this. This is more or less how it looked with a cracked glass. Now it's got a complete new crystal, new band, uh, new crystal, and of course a new strap. If you see the back of the watch, it is a beautiful dial. I must. I love the dial. It's actually very nice, shiny. It was in pristine condition. There hasn't been any polishing as far as I know. Just so the watch hasn't been worn that much, but when it was worn, it was broken very quickly. And with this, uh, keep forgetting the name of this stuff, this fabric, but it absolutely looks brilliant. Let me put it on the wrist as you can watch the Candino. Now the Candino, you can see the bracelet on the left side. That's a little bit better, but not that much. It's. Uh, I'll show you, also flimsy, it has a fold over though, that's good, but it's, you know, it's, it's old and it has these hollow end links. So the general impression of, I, I actually, yesterday I, I, I tried to see if I can get the Candino back on the bracelet because I had it on the green spare zenith strap which actually was broken so I had to throw it away and it's nice on nice those straps but hmm or I got the wrong ones or it just didn't fit so I went over and I went look further through my collection which band I could use and then I came across the Aramar band as you might well know I took the Aramar, uh, Aramar off of the original bracelet and put it on a uh, on this actually on this uh, strap now I refilled this strap and the NATO which is on now in another video and this leather strap by Hirsch the night one is just such a versatile strap you can almost put it on any watch and the moment I put it on the Candino it was like holy fuck this is this is the best strap on a watch ever more or less in my opinion um, I'll show that to you in a moment here you can see the here you can see the movement this is the replaced quartz movement to re replace the whole movement costs 75 euros which is not a lot of money for for just uh, to get thing to watch like in new condition now let me show you the psycho first there it is on the wrist absolutely beautiful nice works well on the wrist really dressy especially when your uh, shirt goes over it a little bit oh that's the cat <laughs> um so really really nice it's uh, 
really back in very good condition. Now the complete overhaul for this Psycho was 120 euros and I got 20 euros returned on the uh, butchered bracelet or uh, butchered strap that you could see when I got the uh, Candino back from the shop in my last video. I went back, they uh, detracted that amount off the bill of this one. Now this was like I said 120, 125 euros. They cleaned it, they oiled it, it's like new, it's got a new glass. Um, you can buy these NOS for about 60 bucks, but then again, you'd still have to bring it up to service because everything has been in a box on a shelf, but still all the oils in an automatic watch will dry out after 10 to 15 years at least. So that means you can buy an NOS watch, but you still have to service it because otherwise you'll ruin it. It will wear uh, so much faster uh, than if you would have bought it in the time it came out because of the dried out oils. So always when you buy an NOS watch for some kind of that stuff and you want to wear it, just remember you might want to have it serviced before you go wear it. Even if it's never been worn, it is old, it's dried out, dried in. Uh, and there we have the Candino. Now look how that Candino looks on that brown bracelet. I love it. It's, uh, it's quite a big bracelet. So as you can see, it's focused here. And you can see that the whole bracelet is just, sorry, <laughs> the leather strap is just beautiful. And uh, what I really like about this watch, it's very thin because of the quartz movement. But it's that thin that it's about as thin as the band. So it wears very, very comfortable on the wrist. Here you can see the back of the watch. Candino with a diver on it. It's a hundred meter water resistant sapphire crystal and it says and it says Candino extreme performance with a Swiss flag on it. I love this watch on that brown leather strap. And again, the Psycho. Also very nice. And uh, so uh, what I'm trying to say here what you can do you can buy yourself an Orient Mako for 200 euros and uh, then you'll have a great automatic watch or and I think everybody has this or go through your drawers and try to find that old watch your dad had or you had that broke down but you didn't throw it away bring it to watchmaker or just this one didn't, just didn't even go to my normal watchmaker this one just went through a local jeweler shop which sends it in for a, for a service. Um, I wouldn't send my uh, Zenith there, that's for sure. But anyway, uh, you find one or two of these watches, you repair them and you can wear them again and it's just such a joy. I mean, uh, my, when my father's gonna see this watch, he's gonna, he's gonna faint. You know, he's seen this watch in the, in the worst shape it was and he's gonna see that it's absolutely like new again. So maybe you would like to wear it as well. Uh, and this is my first beater, my first quartz Swiss, first taste of a bit more expensive watch than 50 euros. And um, it's with the Sapphire Crystal, it's quite a sturdy watch. And I love the red dial and in combination with the uh, brown strap, I'll probably be wearing this even more than the Psycho. Um, this is this also got emotional value, of course. So uh, guys, that was the Candino Sport 100 Quartz from 1999 in the Psycho 7005-7012 uh, automatic from 1974. Check it out, very nice watches. Cheers. Ciao di bye.